Hello, everyone. This is Ryan and Derek from Badgerland Birding, and we are extremely excited to be kicking off Migration Madness with an event titled America's Favorite Duck. Yeah, so what we're going to be doing for this is we have this bracket we're going to create, and then you guys are going to vote on which ducks are your favorite between the two matchups, and then we'll eventually crown a winner. And so Ryan was in charge of getting all the ducks to put in here. And what kind of criteria did you use to either include or not include certain species? Yeah, that's a great question because I was actually kind of torn on some of these species because America and North America as a greater continent get a lot of interesting birds that show up from other countries. And we get migratory birds that uh, fly north from the south every year. So it was kind of challenging to figure out how to do it. But what I went with was birds that at least somewhat regularly are found in the lower 48 states in the wild. So that means the general birds like uh, canvas back, blue wing teal are all in. And then there's some of the ducks that are actually from Europe, like the tufted duck that I put in too, because they're becoming more regular. Now, some of the ducks that people may be disappointed or left out are ducks like the Mandarin duck, which is pretty much always an escaped pet that somebody finds in the wild or there might be some little populations that escaped so we did not include those in this bracket but we have a total of 35 ducks that we are going to so technically it's more like a lower 48's favorite duck it is more like a lower 48 favorite duck there's a couple species especially in the eider category or the scoter category that can be found in the siberia to alaska area didn't include those and didn't really include hawaii and uh, hawaiian species okay and to be clear um this is like we're just doing this for fun so anyone can vote you don't have to be from the united states to vote so i know we have um people in other countries so please um you know put your input into which ducks are your favorite and you know we'll hopefully get some cool results i'm excited to see what these matchups are we've never done anything like this before so we just kind of got a 35 team fillable bracket up and we're gonna pick the uh ducks out of a, a mug a badgerland birding mug we have so ryan wrote them all down cut them up put them in this mug we're gonna pick them out fill out this bracket and see and so we're thinking for the there's like three play-in matchups here and so we're going to post those as surveys on the community tab on our youtube channel so if you go to our channel hit community um starting march 1st we're going to have the first plan so we're going to do the first three then for the first round on the community tab we're going to post a link to all those matchups you can vote for the whole first round and then all of them are going to be individual on the community tab after that that's our plan yeah. at least yeah, that's our plan. So what will help is if you want to get even more people involved, which we want as many votes as possible to make this as legitimate as possible, uh, spread this around to your friends, to your birding groups. If you think they'd be interested, we'd love to get just as many people as possible giving us data on which ducks are America's favorite. And the criteria is whatever you want it to be. So it's not like your favorite is the one that you find most beautiful or most rare. It can be really anything you want. And that's why I think it's going to be entertaining about this. And I don't know about you, Derek, but I'm like oddly excited to see the matchups. And I like, and I just am fascinated by this for some reason. Anytime there's a bracket involved, I'm excited about it. So yeah. Cool. And especially with the March Madness basketball tournament coming up, we figured this would be a great time to do an event like this. I'm way too excited. <laughs> All right. Well, um, so we're going to leave the, we decided we're going to leave the like play in matchups for last. And there's not really any like one there's not really any seating. It's just kind of making matchups. So we're just going to kind of do it as we go. So do you want to pick out our first? Before we do that, I kind of want to get your prediction as to which ducks you think are going to do well. Because I have so no idea. We had, we had one viewer say that they thought that the wood duck should be the best one. And wood ducks are very beautiful. So, I mean, something like that I could see. Maybe some of the more kind of vagrants, but becoming more popular species i could see doing really well um, i kind of wonder is it going to be the more common ones do well like how yeah mallard, mallard might be do? a surprise i don't know if it's going to do well or not do well it's going to be entertaining um yeah so are you ready i'm ready duck? pull it right out of this slick badgerland birding mug let's see it so first one is common merganser common merganser okay all right well we're going to be waiting a while for who the common merganser is going to face that, that just adds to the anticipation. All right. All right. So next one is 
common eider. We have a lot of com a common going on. Common eider. Common bracket. I think that's gonna be a, a popular one, in my opinion. They're very common, as their name suggests, on the East Coast, but we don't get those a lot in the Midwest. So that one will be interesting. I'm very curious to see about rarity levels and things and how that makes them perform. Is this gonna be uh, another common one? We have Mexican duck. Oh. Mexican ducks are kind of a off-brand mallard, in my opinion, and they can really only be found down in the Texas area, traditionally. That's For a while, they were actually lumped, too, with mallard. That's an interesting matchup there. You ready for the next one? I'm ready. All right, we have Black Scoter. Black Scoter. That's one a lot of the times people can kind of confuse them with ruddy ducks, depending on when they see them, because they kind of have that, like... Um, you know, darker and lighter facial pattern that's like split the same way. That'd be mm -hmm. funny if they faced the ruddy duck, actually. Well, let's see. We have greater scop. Greater scop. Is greater and lesser scop included in this? Indeed. I was kind of okay. hoping for a matchup of greater and lesser just to see which one Maybe. won. Maybe. If was... they're in this one, they might face off. It's possible. We have common golden eye. See, this is the common side of the bracket. Maybe there's I'm a just big, tons of common ones. I'm a big common golden eye fan, though. I think that's a little underrated. For these ones, maybe I'll write like C golden eye, so it's not, it makes it really small otherwise. Sure. There. So we have King Eider. Ooh, I, I got, that's going to be a good one, I think. I kind of like the common golden eye King Eider matchup. You have a, bird that more people probably see regularly and a bird that's very extravagant looking so that's interesting all right moving down to the next region we have pharaoh's golden eye okay um and black-bellied whistling duck black-bellied whistling duck you have a lot of black-bellied whistling ducks down by you don't we you? yeah we have a ton we're gonna BB. have fun with some abbreviations yeah <laughs> BB Whistling Duck sounds like somebody's uh, ghost writing name. There we go. BBW Duck. BBW Duck. During editing, we realized we accidentally left a duck out of the bracket, the Harlequin Duck. We added the species in as the fourth play-in game against the Black-Bellied Whistling Duck, bringing the total to 36. And now, back to the bracket reveal. All right, next one. Balvis Whistling Duck. Ooh. In the same section of the bracket. At least where I'm at, I'm more excited when I see Falvis whistling ducks because they're like the more rare one. Like black belly is the one you see all the time, but it's exciting to see a Falvis. It's kind of tough though, because like the black belly whistling ducks juveniles kind of look like the Falvises. Like originally when I saw juvenile black belly whistling ducks, because their bill isn't that like reddish color, it's more of a blue. I was like, oh, they're Falvis whistling ducks. And then I learned later that they were actually juvenile black bellies. Nice. You ready for the matchup for that one? I'm ready. We have Bufflehead. Bufflehead. That's a cute one. Yeah. So you could have a matchup between Black Belly Whistling Duck and Fulvis Whistling Duck in that section. Then next one, we have Ruddy Duck. Ruddy Duck. There it is. Another very cute one. I think Ruddy Duck versus Bufflehead. I mean, it could happen. Any of these an could happen. One. I have no gauge for which birds are going to move on. Cinnamon teal. Ooh. Not a lot of cinnamon colored birds out there. No. Green wing teal. Is it going to face blue wing teal? That's what I want to know. I don't know. We could have our first uh, kind of head to head common type matchup. Tough to duck. Ooh. Green -wing teal. I feel Tough like a lot of people like one. tough to ducks, but like. Green wing teal is probably the more well-known one. Yeah, for sure. Unless you're from Europe, in which case you know the tufted duck quite well. That's true. So moving on to the next top section, yep. we have a gadwall. I don't picture gadwall doing very well. I don't see a lot of people being like pumped to see gadwalls. They're just kind of like, oh, there's a gadwall. Yeah, I don't know. I'm always excited to see the first one of the year. I think it's they kind of an underrated bird, matches. honestly. Moving down past the playing matchup, we have, oops, I dropped it. American Widgeon. Oh. Could American Widgeon possibly face off against Eurasian Widgeon? Let's see. Eurasian Widgeon is included? Eurasian Widgeon is included. They're uh, 
they're not common by any means, but they do appear in the U.S. with some regularity. We have surf scoter. Surf scoters always look like they just have a giant nose with the they, way that their bill is. They, yeah, that bill is huge and interestingly colored and interestingly shaped. So, I call them the Nigel Thornberry of ducks. I see. And then next one we have wood duck. Wood duck. I that one I have big hopes for. Yeah, you big, think you're gonna see that. Not one necessarily hopes, four. but I think it's gonna do well. Are you gonna personally vote in this competition? Yeah, you have to vote too. I see. All right. Canvas back. Canvas back. Ooh. There's a good uh, March migratory duck face that is, there. Yeah. I think people like canvas back. I think it would have been funnier if redhead and canvas back were matched up against each other. That would have been interesting. Uh, next one, we have model duck. Model duck. A fairly rare species of duck that is similar to the mallard, the black Depends duck, where you're and... at. Yeah, it depends where you're at. Similar to the Mexican duck as well. Kind of that same look. And then we have long-tailed duck. Ooh, that's one of my personal favorites. I find myself calling a lot of these birds extravagant looking, but that one really is extravagant looking. Yeah, the males and females are both really unique. Versus Muscovy duck. No, no, this is a new one. Oh, new one. Muscovy duck in its place of its own then. So this is not the domestic hybrid muscovy duck feral muscovy ducks this is the original like probably only seen in south texas area wild muscovy duck very beautiful that's what i'm interested to see how it does because a lot of people are familiar with them i actually did see one that was probably feral up here in wisconsin i'm sure it was feral it was weird because it was with a flock of uh, migratory ducks but it was that is interesting the the white variety so i'm pretty Mm -hmm. sure it was feral but still interesting nonetheless and then white wing scoter white wing scoter now we have each of the three scoters with a place in the bracket white wing scoter versus american black duck i don't have uh i don't think the black duck's gonna do very well you don't think so i feel like it's overlooked I do think yeah, the model should be duck, the black I've... duck, and the Mexican duck may all have an overlooked aspect. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. So next one is hooded merganser. That's one that I think has potential to do well in this tournament. Mergansers are pretty charismatic. I feel like people normally have like a, they're excited to see mergansers normally, especially the hooded. Are we going to end up like filling out a bracket against each other to see who is more correct on which bird is going to advance we definitely could i feel like that's going to happen we might need to post this somewhere so that people can do the same thing with their friends as well and hooded merganser is going to be taking on the mallard Ooh, that's an interesting matchup that's a backyard throwdown right there <laughs> backyard throwdown i love it then we have blue winged teal versus the redhead very aptly named bird the redhead so that brings us to our play-in matchups i believe so these are this this bottom right section that's a lot of like wisconsin birds yeah redhead blooming teal mallard black duck white wing scoter the only one that like you won't see is the natural muscovy duck the natural muscovy duck is the outlier there um you ready for the play-ins yep all right, so this is to have the honor of facing the common merganser. We have the red-breasted merganser. Ooh. It's a very bright male duck with that mohawk. And then we have the northern pintail. Ooh. I think our mergansers are going to get blown out of the water by the pintail here. I th- I'm so? predicting pintail moving two rounds here just basically automatically. Wow, okay. That, we'll yeah, it's this that... very striking duck. All right, and then our next play in matchup Eurasian Widgeon versus Lesser Scop. Ooh. I don't know how the Scop are going to do. I don't think bills. the Scop are going to do well. I feel like people are going to be like, I've seen thousands of those. And then our last matchup, so our last two birds, we have Northern Shoveler. That's a good one. Continuing I think our that every single Wisconsin. duck we've had, 
you're like, that's a good one. That, that's a not nice all one. of them. I'm sometimes I, I go, ooh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Occasionally. And then Ringneck Duck as the last one. Guess what? What? That's a good one. Oh, okay. That's a good one. You know, that's basically a scop with slight differences to how it looks. Uh, I don't know. I think of it differently when I see one. So what do you think of this thing? Any sections I think, you think all right, are really These are my predictions. I think in the... What would these be if it was Marsh Madness? What would the top left section be? Do you know? Like what region? Yeah, I, I wish they had like the east or whatever. But in this top left region, all right, I think Northern Pintail is going to get... going to win this top top little section. And then I think King Eider is going to face it. So you're going to have and a the King... Elite eight. I think you're going to get the King Eider Northern Pintail matchup. Then down here in the bottom left, I'm predicting Cinnamon, Cinnamon Teal. Uh, the Whistling Ducks are tough because I don't know how many people are familiar with Falvis. I think I Black... Like head. Maybe... Uh, buffalo Heads are pretty cute. I think people might yeah, go Buffalo Head, Cinnamon Teal. Could there. be uh, Buffalo... Buffalo... Not Buffalo Head. <laughs> buffalo <laughs> Buffalo Head, Cinnamon Teal. Then in the top right, I see... Long tail duck, I think, is going to win that section. That'd be my prediction. And then in the bottom right, I think Shoveler might surprise. I think Mallard might do pretty well. Maybe get like, a, well, the teals too. I just realized I'm way too excited for this. Like, I think there's you something. You can never be wrong too excited. Me. It's a bracket. You can't be not excited about it. I think. I think Mallard, White Wing Scoter, Shoveler, maybe. I don't know. That, did, that is a very good Wisconsin section, though, because still only Muscovy Ducks, the one you probably wouldn't see there. I think the first round matchup I'm most excited for is that Mallard versus Hooded Merganser is kind of going to be like one of those would probably be my favorite to make it far, and they're facing each other in the first round. All right, so on the community tab on March 1st, the first one we're going to post is Red Breasted McGanzer versus Northern Pintail. So you'll have, when we post it, we'll, you want to post at 9 a.m. or should we post earlier? We'll try 9 a.m. 9 a.m. and then we'll, you'll have until midnight to vote on that one and then that'll decide who moves on. Then the following day, we'll post Eurasian Widgeon versus Lesser Scop and then we'll get Northern Shoveler versus Ringneck Duck going. All right, so we are very excited to see how this plays out, and we just want to preemptively thank everybody who will be voting. We're really excited, and if you want to download this graphic to actually fill it out with you and your friends, if you want to have your own separate little competition and see what's, uh, what's predicted versus what actually happens, you can click the link in the description to get this bracket. I think it'll be really fun, and we hope you guys enjoy it too, so let us know um, if you're having fun with it. All right, and as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Mm -hmm.